Hola everyone, um, happy Wednesday. Sorry I didn't really post last week. I know I said I would uh, speak more in the morning, but you didn't know I meant this week's Wednesday morning. Um, anyway, the reason that everything was crazy last week was because Wednesday was the deadline for withdrawals at my school, and I got spoken to the day before by one of my professors, highly suggesting that I withdraw from her class, which wasn't a big deal. Um, it's a class that I kind of figured I was going to have a hard time with anyway, and it was something I could do next semester, so no big deal, except that it was the day before that she told me. So I spent the entire day on Wednesday running around from place to place to place trying to get important signatures on the paperwork so that I could follow through with that before the deadline. Um, also, I'm an RA in my building, which means uh, basically hall mom, but I also have to plan programs and things, and Southridge, my building, had our Halloween party last Wednesday night, which, Greg, you missed out on because you're no longer here, but um, it was basically the greatest Halloween party of all time as far as campus events go, um, and also things that I go to because I'm not generally a party-goer of any sort. But um, it was cool. Uh, it started out as, like, root beer pong and mocktails and card games and stuff, and there was a costume contest. And surprisingly, we had a really good turnout for it, which if you, well, I guess none of you guys really know my building, but it's generally known as the, like, quiet, nerdy, like, anti-social building, which isn't true. It's just that we tend to be social within our building instead of, like, with other people. And um, everyone in our building is kind of weird in one way or another. But the nice thing is that because of that, we're all, like, comfortable around each other because we're all weird in different ways. Um, so the party turned out to be really cool because we're all really comfortable with each other. So everybody, like, actually went all out with their costumes and showed up and went crazy. And then we had uh, some music playing in the background, and it unofficially turned into a dance party, which was, like, super, super fun. Um, I'm not normally one for dance parties, especially campus-sponsored things, because generally that just turns into a couple people kind of looking awkward and then a couple people, like, grinding on each other, and that's not really my thing. But because our building is so nerdy and awesome, um, we actually had people like really dancing. I'm talking like salsa and uh, swing dancing. And then an unofficial Dougie contest broke out, which I won unofficially, um, which was weird. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it was just it was really, really fun. Everybody had party rock anthem stuck in their head for the next two weeks after that. Um, so that was cool. That was last Wednesday. That was basically all I did for Halloween because I've always had to work on Halloween. Um, so that was cool. And then this morning I had to teach again. Um, you can get used to that on Wednesdays. Uh, but the nice thing was it was cool. It was kind of a chill lesson. It was mostly read aloud. Um, I read the Telltale Heart to one of my classes. And then my other class is finished up with Edgar Allan Poe. And now we're moving along to Edward Gorey. Um, and we're getting into the Gashley Crumb Tinies and, you know, awesome things like that. Um, so that's mostly catch up on last week and today. As far as Nana Remo goes, um, is it just me? Or, like, who decided that Nana Remo should occur on the most homework-laden month of the year? Because November is already pretty packed with, like, a lot of things. And there's just not a whole lot of space to pack into novel writing as much as I'd like to. And as many stories as I currently have unfinished in my computer, um, it's just not going to happen this month, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> although, I guess, cool things I can talk about that I am working on, uh, I really, really like fairy tales. Especially really old, semi-more obscure, like Grimm's fairy tales. And also just you know, epic poetry of all sorts, but, um, and since I'm an artist, and I really enjoy illustration, um, I am looking into a couple of my favorite lesser-known fairy tales, and considering rewriting a couple of them, starting with one, I'm trying to narrow down which one I want to start with, and, um, illustrating them myself, and the nice thing is that because those things are in public domain, it's completely copyright acceptable to do so. Um, I'm stuck right now between... I'd considered Bluebeard, but I kind of want to save that one for later. It's not really my favorite. Um, I was considering doing either The Princess on the Glass Hill, um, Snow White and Rose Red, which might be my favorite, um, The White Cat, which is an excellent story, and if you don't know it, you should read it. 
or possibly doing something based on epic poetry, either a story from the Prosata or um, maybe something from the Trojan Women um, by Euripides, if anyone has ever read that. It's actually a play, um, one of my favorite plays, and uh, I don't know. That one is just so much about the text, though. I don't know how well it would lend itself to an illustrated picture book. But um, those are my ideas. So if you guys have opinions, leave them in the comments, and I would greatly appreciate that. Don't expect it to be done this month because NaNoWriMo is not really good timing for me. But um, I would definitely like to have opinions and like to work on that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about all for today. I don't really have a whole lot of other things to say at the moment. Um, if somebody has questions, comments, opinions, let me know. That'd be awesome. It's been great hearing from everybody so far. Greg, where was your post this past week? Did I miss it? I don't understand. Um, anyway, Tim, I'll see you tomorrow. And, yeah. DFTBA, everybody.